हेलो एवरी वन सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज क्लास इज पार्शल इलास्टिसिटीज इफ यू रिमेंबर द क्लासिक फॉर्मूला ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी वेन यू हैव अ फंक्शन ऑफ वन वेरिएबल सो बेसिकली वाई इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड देन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल विच इज वाई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू योर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एक्स वुड यूज टू वुड वुड uh was written as elasticity of y with respect to x so we write x as a base just like log of x to some base is equal to eta we call this particular uh variable as eta of y x so elasticity of y with respect to x and the formula was x upon y into dy upon dx okay now we're going to extend this information to a function of two variables z equals to f of f of x y so firstly elasticity partial elasticity of z with respect to x would be same way formula remains the same x upon dependent variable that is x upon z into now instead of full derivative now we know that z is a function of two arguments x and y we will write partial derivative del z upon del x okay likewise partial elasticity of z with respect to y will be y oh uh, what is this this is z y upon z into del z upon del y okay so let's do a quick question on it you been given that z is equal to a1 x1 to the power d plus a2 x2 to the power d a3 x3 to the power d and whole raised to the power g where a1 a2 a3 and g are constants so you have to prove that elasticity of z with respect to first argument that is going to be x1 so z is a function of x1 x2 and x3 okay plus elasticity of z with respect to x2 plus elasticity of z with respect to x3 is equal to gd so this is something i have been given to prove let's proceed firstly elasticity of z with respect to x1 will be independent variable upon dependent variable that is z into del z upon del x1 so x1 upon z into derivating this partially with respect to x1 so that will be g will come over here since this is of the form x to the power a so that will be a x to the power a minus 1 okay so g comes over here entire term is like this only to the power g minus 1 then using chain rule we will further derivate the term involving x1 so that will be a1 into d into x1 to the power d minus 1 again using this formula likewise you can easily find out elasticity of z with respect to x2 and elasticity of z with respect to x3 once you have found out all these three you can easily work out their sum now working out their sum would mean you can pluck out the common terms now let's look for the common terms i've circled them out g upon z and this particular base along with d all of these will come out to be common from this particular sum so i've written it over here that adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 will give you taking the common things outside and this will remain in the inside and you can see that both of these uh functional forms are just the same so can i say that g minus 1 and let this be raised to a power of 1 Uh, so g minus one plus one would be g itself. So I shall have g d upon z into this to the power g. But oops, what is this? This is nothing but your function z. So this will become g d upon z into z. That will give you g d, and hence you have successfully proved this particular part as well. Now, thank you for watching the video. We'll explore more about elasticity in the next lecture.